scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we invoke the spirit that has filled our history with revival. The same spirit that moved upon the city of Wales. You used Evan Roberts and you did mighty things in that city. You moved upon a street called Azusa. And a wide-eyed evangelist called William Seymour came under the influence of this mighty presence. And you led the Pentecostal movement. You came upon women like Jeffrey Kuhlman, Empty Semple McFarland, Maria Woodward Eater, and they shook their generations to a steel. You came upon Alexander Dewey and a frail cobbler called Smith Wigglesworth. You came upon Madame Gunion. The spirit of the age to come. We invoke that spirit in this season of the rain. Set us ablaze. Let the rain pour. Let there be an outpouring of your spirit. Let there be an outpouring of miracles and signs and wonders. It shall come to pass in that day, say the Lord, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Upon the maids, I will also pour out my spirit. I will show forth wonders in the heavens and signs in the earth. Blood, fire and smoke. This is that, oh God, that Joel prophesied about. We are in that season of the rain. Let there be an outpouring, oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens. Open up the fountains of the deep and cause the rain to come upon your people. We are in that season. Ask ye for the rain in the time of the latter rain. We ask. This is the season of signs and wonders, the season of the manifestation of sons, the season of miracles, the season of the emergence of ambassadors, envoys of his majesty, the salt of the earth, the light of the world, champions, apostles and prophets, men of fire. Oh, let that army arise. Let that army arise, a mighty army, the fire divorced before them, behind them a desolate wilderness, they shall leap upon walls, they shall run like chariots, men who fear no evil, the fire will not burn them, but they will consume everything before them, therefore we blow the trumpet in Zion, and we sound the alarm upon the holy mountain we declare that this is that season this is that time this is that moment in prophecy we are the generation that seeks your face oh god of jacob arise so oh mighty man and empower your army for this season
rocks to flow in the realm of divine reality. Take it higher. Give me a visitation tonight. It's our year of the rain. My goodness. Give me a visitation. You will catch fire. This is the year you will catch fire. It's a rain that brings fire. It's a rain that makes you an inferno. Pray and say, Lord, I make a demand. I ask for the rain. tonight don't be distracted don't be distracted
listen to me I am absolutely convinced hear me that every one of us here represents a sphere of influence every one of us here represents a jurisdiction of dominion and so this is a summit is is a conversion of kings it's a convergence of ambassadors so as you travel you travel for your sphere of influence as you pray you pray for they that are tied to your grace don't see yourself as a single entity for when they looked at the womb of rebecca they saw that they were two nations not just twins two nations we each represent territories dimensions of spiritual operation that the nations will benefit from and so when you cry you cry on behalf of a territory when you travel you travel on behalf of a family on behalf of a community Lord, we love you. We love you. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Honestly, let me tell you something. We're not ready for what God has in store for us this year. We think we are, but I don't think we're ready. Because God is going to move this year in most dramatic proportions. You will see ordinary men turn into things that will make you wonder. And this is not some spiritual things. Physically, you will see men that will walk like gods in this city across this nation. All God is asking is do you believe do you believe? He said, blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance of those things that have been spoken. Unto her. Lord, we believe. Let the rain fall without restriction. We empty ourselves and we empty our vessels. Hallelujah. We ask you to help us tonight. Spirit of the living God, we submit to you. Unveil the mysteries of the kingdom. Teach us truths that are older than us. Teach us what made the ancient powerful. Open us up to ancient vistas in the spirit. Show us realities that predate our dispensation. Grant us access to abilities and dimensions in the spirit. Show us the ancient path. Oh, that we will step into the Sabbath. Grant us grace. For there is a longing in our spirit. There is a longing upon our generation to experience a fresh dimension of the reality of the spirit. And we trust you to bring us into this reality. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. You're welcome. Just sit quietly, pick up your writing materials. There is a lot to do tonight. Please no, let no seats be vacant. There are so many people. If we can get some of the people to occupy the seats. Some of them are the extreme overflows. If they can come and at least stand inside. There are people under the anointing ushers. I know that you... It's a season of the rain. We will step into realities this year. We will step into strange dimensions of grace. And the Lord will grant it so. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
you will step into levels of realities that will change your physical form your physical form that will alter you when Moses stood in the glory he did not know that he was being changed after 40 days he stepped out and his skin his flesh his physical flesh it's, it's not just about using cream and all of that there is a level of glory I'm telling you I want you to believe this God is not playing games with us if we mean business with him he says who has believed our report who has believed you will see mountains melt as if they never existed that's what happens when the glory of the Lord comes you will see God turn around situations he said turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev I want every meeting that we come for all through this year you must be very intentional about it you must be very definite about it hallelujah you can greet and play around after the service but the moment you step into this building before the meeting starts i want you to know that you are standing upon mount zion and anything just anything can happen hallelujah that's what God wants to do. Let it cover all the earth. Oh, that's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. That's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. Let the rain of His Spirit cover us. Let it cover all I wrote this song years ago from my spirit. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Even tonight and bless our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord the reality of spiritual laws the reality of spiritual laws the reality of spiritual laws what we'll be learning tonight will be so powerful so powerful my goal for us this year is that we will become so powerful men and women of extreme spiritual power and it will happen as we are shown the keys of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom listen let me tell you something for years for years there has been a cry in my spirit somehow there is a testimony in my spirit that our generation has lost touch with ancient realities you hear me use that word again and again people move forward but something in my spirit keeps drawing me back and it says if you can go back enough you will find something we lost hallelujah I've been intrigued every time I read things in scripture and it talks about ancient things. There is something that the ancient knew. It's not supposed to be so difficult. We have lost touch with the dimension of reality. Carnality, flesh, intercourse with Babylon cut short a flow of spiritual reality. And the Lord told me something last year. He said, mantles do not leave the earth to heaven. That means every dimension of grace that has ever been displaced in the earth, they are archived in certain dimensions here in the earth realm. And if we can trust the ministry of the Holy Spirit, He will navigate us to those parts. 
and we will collide with these ancient mantles and we will do strange things upon the surface of this earth. You believe that? And this is our journey. Show us great things, oh God. The reality of spiritual laws. Aside from revealing the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to the body of Christ, one of the cardinal areas of my call is to teach the body of Christ the principles of the kingdom. To unveil to the body of Christ that dominion is a resultant effect of the knowledge and the comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. A mystery is a hidden truth that requires the agency of the spirit or another spirit that is not of this realm to open an individual to the reality. It's called a mystery. Mysteries. The occultic realm operates on the strength of mysteries. Coded operations that are shrouded in mysteries. Science cannot explain it. It takes your fraternity with another spirit to open you up to those dimensions. And so he said it has been given unto you to know. The word know there is the word a man and a man knowing his wife. It has been given to you to come into a union with the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. If we ever will attain to that stature of spiritual authority where we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom, then I want you to know that it will never just be by impartation. It will never just be by stories. It will stand upon the strength of something that we know. What did Job know that turned his financial predicament in a moment? The Bible did not tell us what business he did. The Bible just said Job prayed for his friends. Mysteriously, people started coming from everywhere. Brothers and sisters, are there portals we have lost in the spirit? Have we not lost touch with certain dimensions of spiritual reality? Hallelujah. The prophet said, bring me a mystery. Who taught him? Who lectured him? How did he know? He said, I will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart. My heart is indicting a good matter. He said, yea, I speak of excellent things. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. Who taught this man? Who taught the psalmist that praise was a garment that a man can wear? He called it a garment. Not an attitude of praise. A garment of praise. Every time they praise God in the place of war, I notice they use a coded language. All they said was, for he is good and his mercy endures. It was not any kind of praise. There was a time. It was like a spiritual code. Every time they began to say, for he is good and his mercy endures, he rose as a man of war. Meaning not every word invokes every dimension. There is a kind of language that makes God to operate in a certain way. Are you learning something? Help us, oh God. Look, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. Part of my resolutions this year is that I will open us up to deep things. Some of us will be afraid of some of the things we'll be learning. I've been praying and saying, Lord, prepare your people. Because it will rattle the eye the foundation of what you know to be Christianity. And you will know that many preachers have lied to us. Hallelujah. So let's prepare our hearts. Because this thing is not the exclusive reserve of one man. It has nothing to do with the boasting of a preacher. Let me tell you something. The hallmark of an apostolic ministry I will keep saying it till we understand. It's not just miracles and signs and wonders and manifestations of the Holy Ghost. There is a dimension of that, right? But the hallmark of the true apostolic ministry is the ability to receive the revelation that is meant for a dispensation. To understand it and communicate it accurately to the people of God. 
because the apostolic ministry is dispensational are you following me now and the knowledge of god is also dispensational meaning there is a curriculum there is a scope of understanding that god expects a dispensation to know are you following me now so that what we call eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations every dispensation coming with a revelation of god and adding that revelation to another dispensation are you following me now and that means that our dispensation has certain dimensions of god that we must know and we must touch but it takes the apostolic and the prophetic ministry not just to do signs and wonders and to lay hands and heal the sick that is important but to be able to sustain a posture in the spirit such that we can receive these spiritual realities understand them and interpret them to god's people and then they will be able to walk in this path and you will see certain possibilities in our lives hallelujah and this is what we aim to do in this place the lord will help us in the name of jesus the reality of spiritual laws science has taught us that there are laws that govern this earth realm they teach us in physics and and chemistry and other aspects of science that there are laws and scientists have been able to come into the recognition of certain physical laws and they have been able to account for the explanation of certain tragedies that have happened to men hallelujah over time scientists began to inquire as to why men will encounter certain inexplainable tragedies and they later discovered that there were laws that were being violated unconsciously that you do not recognize that there is a law does not mean it's not there are you following me now praise the lord if a child does not know there is gravity and he jumps on a, a an altitude like this the child will fall gravity will not say i excuse you is that true there are many other laws now i want you to know that the same way spiritual laws govern this physical physical law sorry govern this realm there are spiritual laws that govern the operation of the spirit hallelujah you are able to walk very well when you can master the laws physically none of us will find ourselves walking against gravity for instance and if by any means you are to walk against gravity you know what to do to be able to remedy the the imbalance that you are creating and so you do not find yourself fighting the laws of nature gravity for instance friction for instance all of these are laws i want you to know that there are spiritual laws say spiritual laws many people have been able to find these laws and walk with these principles and they have been able to do mind bogging things in the earth realm and as we explore this reality my goal tonight is not so much to share what the laws are as it is to bring us into a recognition that as scattered as spiritual things look as scattered as the earth is there is a rhythm are you getting my point there is an exact synergy there is a sequence there is an equation of the happening of things they are not as haphazard as we think there is a level of order and accuracy god designed the earth it is our inaccurate understanding or total ignorance to his principles that has resulted to certain levels of setbacks and limitations in our lives and in this year of the rain god wants to open us up to a recognition of certain principles and you will find out that what has grounded you for years you will walk cheaply you will now find out that the the enemy that many of us has been have been talking about they are not necessarily the demons out there our ignorance our lack of understanding the laws of god say amen the key to kingdom dominion please write this down the key to dominion the key to influence the key to power 
the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom. I'll repeat it again. Please make sure you are writing something or at least jotting something on your notepad or so on the phone or so. The key to kingdom dominion, the key to influence, influence is the capacity to alter people's mindsets. The key to power, the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom. There are ancient laws encapsulated in this Bible. There are laws that are older than us. There are laws that predate our dispensation. They have been responsible for the rise and the fall of kings. They have been responsible for the rise and fall of champions. And when we find peace with these laws, we will do big things for the kingdom. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words Ancient words ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words personalize it. Say, I have come with an open heart. I have come with open hearts. Oh, let me ancient word. Daniel chapter 19. Let's begin our journey so that we can pray. We have come with all. We have come. Oh, let me Daniel chapter two from verse nineteen to twenty two. the story of a cruel king who slept and had a dream forgot the dream and forgot the interpretation and was mounting pressure upon all his wise men and cabinets and daniel said give us time and the bible says he asked for wisdom and in the night can we read together verse 19 one to read then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Verse 20. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever for wisdom and might are his. 21. He, he changed the times and seasons. He removed kings and set up kings. He gave wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. He said, Then was the secret revealed. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, secrets can be revealed. Not everything is known by every Christian. Are you hearing me? The Bible says the secret things of the Lord are not just with Christians. They are with them that fear him. And he will reveal his covenants. He will show them his covenants. There are mysteries in our world. There are secrets that have been archived in the bowels of the spirit. And it takes men who can press to say, Lord, open my eyes. Show me the secrets. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. Is that true? 
Kentucky Fried Chicken, one of the great eateries around. Um, they have a secret recipe that till today has not been revealed. Is that true? That secret recipe is what makes them unique. Coca-Cola, till today, they have not revealed the exact formula and combination. Great men dwell upon the strength of secrets. In ancient time, it was a taboo to reveal the deepest of secrets. They were known only by the king and his envoys, those we call knights or apostles. They were the highest representatives of the king. They knew where treasures were hidden in castles. They knew secret places of escape in chambers. When, when they came to defeat a nation, they knew how to, to invoke the powers of those territories to fight on their behalf. It was an access that was given to them. And so as his ambassadors, God wants to show us. He doesn't want to hide anything from us. He said, come, let us reason together. I want to show you how I operate the heavens so that you can draw from this and do wonders in the earth. If you believe that, say amen. So spiritual laws are real. The spirit realm is a real realm of existence. Just like the physical realm. It is only a lot more superior to this realm. This realm is bounded by many things. There are limitations. For instance, this realm is purely three-dimensional. But in the realm of the spirit, there are many dimensions. A lot of people have preached that there are four dimensions, five. I don't believe that. I believe that there are infinite dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Because the possibilities in the spirit are defined by what dimension you can function. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so I want us to know that the spirit realm is real. The spirit realm is real. And there is a constant interaction between the spirit realm and this realm. Every single one of us under the sound of my voice and those following us online, every single one under the sound of my voice interacts with the spirit realm every time. Whether you recognize it or not. The condition to, to interact with the spirit realm is just to be alive. Remember I began the teaching last week showing us the five elements. Right? The elements of creation. We drink water. Is that true? We breathe air. Why don't we breathe dust? We breathe air to live. Air that seems to be immaterial. But we breathe it in our material body to keep us alive. So, our biological composition is, is, a, is a, 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 an intertwining of both this realm and the realm of the spirit. Prosperity is an intertwining of the spirit realm and this realm. Success in life is an intertwining of the realm of the spirit and this realm. The anointing, the ability and the agency of the spirit... When a man stands and you look at somebody with cancer and stretch your physical hand, you may not even make contact with the person and the person starts shaking or the person falls. It tells you that there is something more than what your eyes see. There is an interaction. Is that true? Watch this. I'm speaking to you. There is no, di there is no digital connection between my mouth and your heart. But what I am saying is passing through your ears and it has the ability to influence your paradigm because they are spirit and life hallelujah so we must we must rise to this reality that all we see in our world brothers and sisters is not all there is praise the lord all we see is not all there is there is more say there is more in this building right now, inside and outside, there are more angels than this crowd gathered here. And many of them are doing many things as I teach right now. Some are imparting graces and all of these things, right? Working in partnership with the Spirit. 
and they are not only angels there are also the spirits of just men made perfect testifying like the witnesses that stood with jesus at the mount of transfiguration elijah and moses representing the law and the prophet they are not the only witnesses there are many others enoch for instance right many other people so the bible says ye are come on to mount zion and it begins to tell us all the things that happen in that place listen the earlier you realize that life is entirely spiritual that the physical manifestation is only a little portion hallelujah occultists understand this politicians understand this is that true i was i was studying the world religion i'll give you a few statistics as we progress very shocking i didn't know there was that much religion in the whole world i thought there were just maybe 100 or 1000 i will tell you the figure shortly <laughs> and all these religions have followers ardent committed die-hard followers meaning the spirit of man is searching for something searching for a connection with its source somehow mankind knows that until you interact with this the spirit realm there is no stability to your person there is a longing so we pray to a deity we call different names for many religions and we hope that somebody out there of a higher consciousness is listening to us there are spiritual laws the same way I can violate gravity and violate other laws and reap the consequences of my disobedience or ignorance. That is the same way I can stumble into a spiritual law I do not know and activate its operation unconsciously and suddenly begin to see certain things manifest physically. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then on the other hand, I can deactivate the operation of a spiritual law without knowing and begin to receive a ripple effect in the physical. Are you following me now? Hmm. So it seems to me like the journey of many Christians is, is, is a blind dashing into spiritual laws. We are not exactly sure. Sometimes we touch something that activates prosperity. And ha has that happened to you? For weeks you find out that favor is coming. Everything is happening. And then it's like something happens. And it's short. There are times that you find out that everything you say in prayer comes to pass. And then other times you pray and it's as if you are talking to yourself. Hallelujah. There are times you suddenly step into a dimension and seasons and you are having dreams every night. And everything you see is coming to pass. And then certain times. What is responsible for this opening and closing of the gates of the spirit? This is what I want to teach you. The reality of spiritual things. Even for preachers, there are times you stand to preach and you sense an unusual open heavens. You are just ministering and my goodness, scriptures that you, you read years ago that you cannot even quote normally suddenly come to your mind and you are quoting them verbatim. And other times it looks like you stand and you are wondering, I hope I'm not messing up. Listen, if you get what I'm teaching you, you will keep certain portals of the spirit open perpetually. Hallelujah. Certain people have touched this realm in different forms. Hallelujah. Now watch this. The fundamental principle I want us to understand as we explore this very sensitive teaching. Because what I'm going to be saying will rattle many of us. Hallelujah. Some of the things that I'm going to be saying will challenge us. But I want you to follow me. The fundamental principle I want you to have at the back of your mind is that everything created belongs to God. You will see the advantage of this statement as we progress. Everything created belongs to God. Secondly, all power belongs to God. Hallelujah. 
all power psalm 62 verse 11 please quickly psalm 62 verse 11 it says once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power everybody shout all power all power you went to school what is your understanding of all power meaning if there is any performance that ever occurs any manifestation of the supernatural in the earth to any degree was either a release or a corruption of power that came from God. Please follow me. God has spoken once. Twice I have heard this. That power belongs to God. Look up please. When a magician takes a white handkerchief. Please follow me tonight and waves it and brings out a dove out of it what happened what happened hallelujah when a magician slices himself into half and holds the remaining half of him and is walking and bastardizes your knowledge of physics and biology what exactly is happening listen to me he said once have i spoken twice in other words, I emphasize it as a witness that all power belongs to God. That means the central force in the realm of the spirit is not astrology. It's not the constellation. The seat of power in the spirit is God himself. Just follow me. Every religion is the hybrid of a man's pursuit. To uncover and look for this mystery entity that we call God. And over time, what has happened is, listen, fallen angels. You know, I spoke to you about the pre-Adamite dispensation. We spoke a bit about that, right? Realities that predate Genesis 1. You find that in Job 38, right? The creation, we spoke a bit now, last year, this year, the creation of angels and all of these things, right? Now watch this. Let me show you a few mysteries in the Bible. Have you read in your Bible that stars fought for a woman called Deborah? Question, was she a non-believer? <laughs> Have you had that thing that stars fought for Deborah? Have you had people mention statements like, you were born with 10 stars? Eh? Whether you believe it or not, just follow me. I'm not teaching you Scientology. I'm provoking you to be mature. Just listen to me. Are you following me now? Many of us come from different cultural backgrounds where at one point or the other they have brought somebody to your house. Hello? Baba? Mama? Whatever. They shall brought somebody to your house. And he was able to do certain things. Whether he used cola or not. Whether he used whatever. And he began to unveil certain things. Either reveal the person that stole. Is that true? Stole money or meat or lied. Is that true? And then he began to reveal some things. How many of you have seen people who are not born again? They have never given their life to Christ. Yet they have functioned in what you know to be word of knowledge. Is that true? In certain tribes, they call them those whose head has opened. Is that true? People who can see beyond certain things. Listen. God has spoken once. Let it be known to you. That when it comes to the realm of the spirit, there are not many forces. There is one force. Everything revolves around him. His name is God Almighty. Whether we accept to call him God Almighty or not. Are you getting my point now? Hmm. So how come Satan can manipulate power? How come traditional rulers can manipulate power please follow me how come a man can look at this lady and say look um you will not give birth case closed he didn't ask her whether she had faith or not he just spoke on the strength of something he has been taught is that true how come people read magical books huh all kinds of books they tell them recite this and the moment they recite it, things start happening 
brothers and sisters am i telling a lie or pastors have been afraid of confronting this issue because if we don't many of us will not know when we have entered witchcraft if all power belongs to god then whose power are witches using follow me if all power belongs to god then the religions that can turn there, there there's the video of a young guy that walked upon water physically he walked upon it huh he walked upon a building sideways and came down no pastor has done that at least i only know one bold pastor who decided his, he was prophet daniel the one that lions tore him into pieces in the badan. that's the closest thing that i know but the bible says once have i spoken twice that all so is it that god gave it to these demons no think about it go to zaria city and meet somebody and say i want a husband what's that thing that they carry love portion wealth portion all kinds of of things they give you and one young man is just moving and they blow something towards him he becomes absolutely confused right and starts pursuing a lady helplessly until she does whatever she wants to do with it now think about that if the bible is telling the truth that all power belongs to god i have a question by the way it will interest you to know that there are 4200 religions as of today in the world how many 4200 registered all the 4200 religions where did they get their power from satan does not create anything is that clear do we all agree question was god sleeping did they steal some of the power without his seed what is the mystery behind the seeming strengthening of wicked forces some of you have dreams and you see all kinds of spirits appear to you you are trying to call jesus they shut your mouth with all your knowing of jesus jesus and they stand and they laugh question who empowered them if satan was created <laughs> are you prepared for this year of the rain we are going to talk we are, we are going as deep as god will help us go because we must answer some questions let me tell you when you answer these questions you will you, you will start laughing at what used to make you cry because when you see it you know that uh -uh, this is the one plus one this is what made it happen and i told you that every time you catch a light what happens in the spirit grace is given to you to walk in that reality so you can see five people struggling over a demon Go out, go out, and you will only pass. No prayer. Light. The spirits know what they are seeing. You see that? Because the strength of evil is darkness. The Bible calls them rulers of darkness, not rulers of light. Whenever there is darkness, they are authorized to rule. All religions of the world claim to connect people to wealth, to joy, to happiness to life to peace and to god or some kind of higher cosmic power for assistance that's the whole bit behind every world religion is that not true if somebody comes to take you now and says mary ann i want you to be part of the confucius religion you think you will just come wouldn't i promise you something i'll promise you wealth and happiness i'll promise you that whatever you want speak certain things and it will happen right if Marianne speaks it and it happens she will invite Shei and say Shei it's easier than that other thing you are doing Shei will first say I don't believe it when life presses her to the wall she will adopt it the strength of this religion is that the suffering of mankind is endless and so eventually people will search for solution anyhow are you getting me by the way many of these religions have their branches in africa you would think that our suffering or our our backwardness in technology will make us say what is all this find out how many africans do they are not christians they are not muslims they are not hindus right they are something else and they have followers
there is an acclaimed personality in this nation I, I told you that I've repented from mentioning names. Acclaimed personality who I think for 48 years or thereabout, I don't know if it was him or, or his brother or somebody who never came out. Never came out for about 48 years. Look, even if you are sitting down for 48 years, how else somehow the devil must come upon you. He must land upon your life and interact with you sacrifices that men have made now the question is brothers and sisters if god is good and god is great and he does not eschew evil what would be the explanation to the seeming empowerment preachers have thought that the power you have the power satan has is your power or he collected it how did he collect it collect it back the question how did he collect it you know we generalize things that we owe people demon is working with something that is solid and provable hallelujah you prayed about something the answer did not come your brother said come let's go and visit somebody they visited the person in two days the answer came is that true it's true you gave thanksgiving in church but we really know where that answer came from is that true a woman cries to god comes to we preachers and we prophesy in the name of jesus i command that cancer to go nothing went is that true they just respect us and they won't publish anything on the newspaper and they quietly go and meet another person and they invoke things and they have the baby and women of god come and claim the glory it's better let's sit down and ask ourselves the truth and answer these questions or keep telling lies there are many people telling lies in church many of the miracles people claim to get in church i am telling you they got it outside the church they consulted a lot of powers there are families today who will never give their children in marriage until they go and ask certain people and they confirm is that true whether whether you are a pastor whatever you believe keep your westernization they will go and consult even if it means them buying goat ram sheep human being they will consult is that true what then is this mystery there are five religions major religions out of the 4200 the first is hinduism the second is buddhism the third is islam the fourth is christianity and the fifth is new age there's no time and it's not within the scope of the teaching to tell you what this individual sect if i would call them believe there are others who believe like the hindus for instance hindus believe there is one great god but he expresses himself in many ways meaning there are many ways to approach him right so they can have many kinds of deities or envoys that help you communicate to this god and they believe in several doctrines of reincarnation buddhism many people think buddhism worship buddha no they just feel that buddha is the person who has been able to attain that highest level of consciousness as they call it and so they model after his life same with all the other religions new age is the recent teachings that was perpetrated by the kingdom of darkness under new age you are god it's a it's a little stealing away from the bible all these religions there's no time i would have proven to you that they all have their origin from the bible that's why they can prove to any christians that's why christians are the most vulnerable is that true they take bible and show you what supports their belief you say wow this thing is in the bible meaning god must support it there comes that theory that all roads still lead to the same god have you heard those those devilish teachings and so people tell you don't worry when you go to the harbor list you say look don't be scared with all this color not i'm doing it's still the same thing it's just different ways of invoking the same god and then he invokes the color not and he says psalms 1 verse 3 i say ah psalms Abba. i know psalms go ahead right to now justify that because psalms 1 was mentioned god is in it is that true what deceit what deceit 
All power belongs to God. Now watch this. I want you to know this. The fallen angels, hallelujah, those we call the fallen angels, I've taught us, but I'll repeat it again just for the sake of establishing a few things. The fallen angels, when they came to the earth, please listen to me, they interacted with men and part of that interaction was responsible for supplying certain deep informations. Don't forget that they were all in heaven, right? Certain laws are God's own laws and they are made to happen. How many of you go to the farm and pray and fast for crops to grow? Please tell the truth. After you sow, you go back and say, oh God. No, once you sow it to the earth, you go back. A man can kill another man and steal his land and sow and still reap a bumper harvest because of the existence of physical laws. So it is. God has put spiritual laws. Are you getting my point? Now, for spiritual laws to work, please come, I'm establishing something. Come, Sam. For spiritual laws to work in the spirit, a spirit must assist you in activating its operation. Are you getting the rules? For any spiritual law at all to work, there must be a spirit entity that will assist you. It is in partnership with a spirit before any spiritual law can be activated. So if I am a magician and I'm doing a lot of abracadabra, for instance, there must have been a spirit that was invoked, appeased, or a demand is placed upon him. Is that true? Now, let's explain our traditional festivals. What happened? What is the whole goal of many traditional festivals? They first appease certain spirits, either with people who must die or sacrifices. And when those spirits are appeased, the mediums that interface between the realm of the spirit and the physical realm, let the people know that, ah, this goat, the spirit has, has eaten it. Although you are seeing a physical goat, the priest ends up eating the flesh physically, uh, uh, the honorarium, the, the, everything goes to the priest. But I'm saying that the whole goal is that the sacrifice has been received. Is that true? That's what happens. No man by his strength can activate spiritual laws. Are you getting my point? There must be the assistance of a spirit. Watch this. I want to shock you now. The Holy Spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws. Just follow me. The Holy Spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws. The spirits of dead men can activate spiritual laws. Ancestral spirits can activate spiritual laws. Demons and spiritual wickedness that operate in the heavenlies. On the strength of the fact that they are spiritual entities, they can guide men to activate spiritual laws watch this so there is a universal law in the spirit for anything to be of god and to carry to carry god's signature there is only one spirit that validates are you getting my point the holy spirit is the only spirit authorized the most holy spirit of god the only one authorized to activate any spiritual law such that God becomes involved and the glory goes to God. Are you getting my point? That means, watch this. It is possible that I can use magic power and look at Sam and do a miracle, a real miracle. It happens, but it did not happen by the Spirit of God. But because it is a manipulation of a spiritual law, it will happen accurately are you getting what i'm saying that means i can give a woman a child but not by the spirit of god is that true i can use the advantage of my partnership with another spirit and remove cancer from her stomach and put back another spirit that means i can receive word of knowledge from a spirit 
accurate word of knowledge but not from God are you, are you getting what I'm saying when you understand this listen to me you will hold the Holy Spirit as a matter of life and death are you getting my point now the problem with many men of God is when they started their journey they started with the Holy Spirit but they allowed their passion to make them leave the Holy Spirit so when the Holy Ghost said wait I'm schooling you in this area they said I'm in a hurry I must enter prophecy I must enter this Holy Ghost you can go and another Holy Spirit another spirit really not holy another spirit continue the journey are you getting the point and because they seem to have been progressing in spiritual things that spirit of deception made them feel that is the continuation of the ministry of the Holy Spirit so although in them they feel something is wrong there is there is a mixing many men of God in this country around that we call fake are not fake even those who do magic most of what has happened is a perversion are you getting me they went under certain people certain hands were laid in them and certain demonic forces were invoked to begin to work with them and it activated certain possibilities and they started gaining knowledge on certain laws is God helping us or are you afraid of the teaching you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i know you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul for you are being changed his glory is been revealed when the spirit takes over your soul listen when you hear us talk a lot about the Holy Spirit and emphasize him it is because there are other spirits already and if you do not embrace the Spirit of God you will meet with another one eventually the day you need a job you will meet with one hear me look up you never go to a herbalist and return the same way you came did you hear what I said you never impossible every man communicates to you out of the strength of the spirit that assists him if you come to me for help and i'm a magician and you are watching me do the magic you finish and say nice man you think you just left but you did not live alone automatically that's why you will return again someone makes you return the people inside and outside both those who wanted to come or did not come the spirit of the living God drew you. Is that true? When you understand this, brothers and sisters, you will not be impressed just by everything that happens physically. You will seek to know what is the motivation and the spirit behind the operation. Many of us are, are very, once you see supernatural things, you are happy. It doesn't matter whether it came from the pit of hell or wherever. You are just happy. Right? And right now we live in a generation where many people want to enter prophecy young people want to enter prophecy and 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 they want to enter world of knowledge they want to enter dimensions now nothing is wrong with that it's because of the revival that is coming but Satan is already preparing a major deception because he has seen it that's one of the reasons why I'm teaching this there is a major arsenal of deception that the devil wants to release to the Nigerian church where there will be an outburst of a seeming outpouring but it's not the outpouring of the Holy Ghost and you will see men move in charismatic dimensions you will see people do things like angels right almost no limits to their impossibilities and even they themselves would not know that they are being deceived 
Are you seeing why the book of Revelations and the rest prays that even the elect can be deceived? I have prayed for many people in meetings. Anointed people. Ministers of the gospel. And as I minister to them, I may never get to tell them. But they may think what they are receiving in that meeting was impartation. What they were receiving was first deliverance from a strange spirit. Acts chapter 16. Don't turn there. Remember a lady who had the spirit of divination. Is that true? Did she give people word of knowledge? Please answer me. And the Bible says when some businessmen found her, they said you are exactly what you are looking for. And they started using her. You pay money to prophesy. You think if the people were not getting results, they will come back? They were getting results. She will say this will happen and it will happen. And when Paul, I like Paul. So, two spirits. Paul had a word of knowledge. Her too, she had her own word of knowledge. Two spirits. Right? And Paul looks at her. And she begins to say, these are great men of God. You know what she was looking for? She was looking for partnership because human beings cannot discern the difference so that she knew that paul was only visiting the city so let's be friends so that when you leave the city they will say ah, ah if paul is not here i am here pastors hear me you must be careful in this day and age the kinds of meeting and ministerial associations you join yourself with there are many of us, they invite you everywhere to preach with everybody and your answer is yes sir. You think you are saving sinners. You will enter the midst of devils without knowing and they will corrupt the authenticity of the grace of God upon your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? It will be a three day meeting. You will be the one to start first. You will start and there will be mighty signs and wonders. When you finish, devils will come and hug you and you will snap together. And then the next day, people will come and they will say, just like the servant of God ministered yesterday, we are continuing. And people will catch strange spirit. There are meetings people have gone to. The moment they left the meeting, lust came upon their lives. And they started looking for ladies uncontrollably. They fell under the anointing. They rolled around and prayed in tongues. And the brother got up with miracle power and love for girls. Confusion. How can I be moving so much in the anointing? Right? Or somebody gets up and just begins to steal. The reality of spiritual news. We constantly interact with this law. Watch this. Spiritual laws are very powerful because they are not only creative, they can change realities in this physical realm. Are you following my teaching now? That is the reason why a magician can hold a handkerchief and say, Sam, hold it. They say, roll it. And Sam will roll it. And Sam will bring out a fowl. How does handkerchief change to a fowl? Right? What they simply did was to take advantage of the laws of creation and manipulate it. Are you getting my point? And what is the goal? The goal is to convince you to come into partnership with the spirit that is assisting them. The spirit that is assisting them is not assisting them for nothing. I hope you know that. When Jesus was on the earth, he was not the only one doing miracles. I hope you know. Remember there was a certain time the disciples were angry and they were complaining. That there are some people that are doing miracles somewhere. Oh, Jesus, you are the happening man. Where did this? And we are your other people. So if it's not you, it should be us. Where are these strangers coming from again? And Jesus made a very controversial statement. He said, whoever is not, what? Against us is for us. Ah! Spiritual laws. So Deborah could look at the stars and say stars i understand what you represent to the inhabitants of the earth align yourself in a way that the powers that the men use for war will not work and the bible says the stars fought for deborah with the permission of god joshua my namesake in the bible what happened to him he looked at the sun and said if this sun goes down they are going to kill our people because of that sun 
Stand still. Right? Daniel went to bed and the secret was revealed. And he said, Oh king, I know what you saw. You saw a beam, an image stand with the head of gold, the breastplate of silver, and you saw clay mixed with metal at his feet. And he began to describe the fall of different empires, the Christian empire, the Babylonian empire, and down to the new age that attempts to communicate towards virtual reality. That's the last empire, the feet that is a mixture of clay and iron. One side the government is soft, on another side the government is hard. It's a mystery. He saw it described. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. The, the proof that God is in a thing is not just in the result, but the spirit that initiates and sustains that process. This is where I'm driving at. The proof that a thing is of God. The Holy Ghost must be both the initiator and the sustainer of that spiritual process. Otherwise, it is fetish, it is demonic, it is from darkness. Even if it produces a real result, I'm giving you the reason now. It's producing a real result because it was the manipulation of a physical law or a spiritual law. And because of the advantage of the superiority of the realm of the spirit over the physical realm, it will produce results. Watch this. Every spirit that initiates a process leaves a signature of itself upon that process. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When Julius Baga builds, what do they leave? They build their, their logo. Is that true? If PW builds, they leave everything. Meaning, if Satan gives a child, he will leave his signature. Right? If Satan heals the sick, he will leave his signature. When you know this, you will know the reason why many people do not experience complete deliverance or complete healing or many there are many reasons but the major reason is because satan comes to steal kill and to destroy so although he uses spiritual law there must be darkness in his operation so satan will give you a miracle that will create another problem right one miracle that creates another problem and you come to him he gives your family money and then gives another person the spirit of drunkenness when you come as drunkenness is being solved barrenness follows right there is a signature one law being activated and causes another one that's why it is the blessing of the lord that can make rich and the, there will be no sorrow there is always a signature of darkness that signs upon whatever comes from satan please hear me tonight not every open door is anointed the fact if you force a door in the spirit it will open thank you jesus christ there are secular musicians that sing and for those of us who used to listen to their songs or those who listen around as we pass by when you hear their voices you know that this voice is it has a glory that is not physical are you getting me spiritual laws manipulated but they must pledge allegiance to the spirit that assisted them that's why you listen to the music and physically you receive the glory that looks like from heaven but it does something to your spirit man because those laws help satan to continue his agenda in the earth is god speaking to us tonight so number one realize that there are spiritual laws number two realize that no man can activate the operation of spiritual laws until assisted by a spirit entity number three there are many spirits that can activate spiritual laws spirits of the dead all kinds of fallen spirits but god has only one spirit that is permitted, authorized to search his heart and activate these laws according to his counsel for man. 
And the name of that spirit is the spirit of the living God. Is the Holy Ghost, spirit of the living God. He's the whole is number one. We have not allowed the spirit of God to teach us these operations of the spirit so that we can align ourselves with these laws of the spirit. I may just touch on one of the law, or maybe two of the laws. Really, we'll just touch on two of those spiritual laws and then we'll just end because I want us to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Laws of the spirit. Watch this. This guy is playing this. Did you know that he's activating a law, a spiritual law? What he's playing is a language. Your senses don't understand, but your spirit understands it. That's why you want to sit down and keep listening to it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The melodies. You know why many people are addicted to secular music? Honestly, it's not just that they are bad people. Is that those melodies are languages they draw your spirit but because those who sing them have fraternized with certain spirits they draw you and they induce the operation of certain strange spirits so you hear him playing what is playing he's playing the strings and is is doing something to your spirit man if a heavily sits down and plays you will keep enjoying and you will fall down but not under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You will fall down and stand up and something will land on you. Are you getting that now? So it matters what spirit you sit under. It matters what spirit produces the result that you celebrate. It matters not just that results are being produced. Brothers and sisters, hear me. If we do not rise to understand the laws of the spirit, we who are the sons of light, I want you to know that many people will run to the devil and he will give them the result they want by operating spiritual laws and take their souls in exchange. If we do not rise to contend for the power and the grace that will cause fruitfulness in the life of women, they will go to Babalawos every day. We can be grumbling and be calling everybody fake and calling everybody. We have to be careful because some of us are the ones who are fake. Not just because we are going to have a list, but we have refused to hold on to that which is real. See that? Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit must be the initiator and the sustainer of every spiritual knowledge we receive. This becomes our only guarantee to escape perversion. The Holy Spirit is the only guarantee that will escape perversion please let me surprise you and understand me you can take just this bible verbatim without the presence of the holy spirit you can still hold get into error are you getting me you can still hold the bible blindly and you will still get into error there are many people who go to herbalists. I counsel a lot of people. And some people come and meet me and they or their children or wives have gone to herbalists. And they say they go to a herbalist and they see many books and they see Holy Bible. Holy Bible was produced by a publishing company. Some of the people who produce this thing are not even born again. Is that true? They are just doing business. Zondervan or whatever publishing company. But it is the presence of the spirit of the living God. Meaning a demon spirit can still come upon this and give it another interpretation. That's why every sect of the Christian faith uses this. But they got another interpretation by the interaction of strange spirits. Genesis 11. That's what happened to Nimrod Kush, the origin of witchcraft. Nimrod Kush, these fallen angels appeared to him. In fact, before Genesis 11, the days of Noah... The Bible says strange aliens started coming upon the earth. Is that true? And they started sleeping with the daughters of men. Brothers and sisters, our ladies are smart people. Do you think an angel will just come with wings and horn and say, um, Marianne, I'm in love with you. Wouldn't you run? If you see a beast with tail, with horn, says, I'm, before he says, I'm in love, you will run away. These beings were not daft. They came and walked like men. I told you angels don't have wings. 
there is no record of angels with wings in the Bible. Those who have wings are cherubims. In fact, angels appeared with people. They ate with people in the Bible. Is it not true? Angels ate with people in the Bible. When the angel appeared to Mary, she didn't say, I'm afraid. She wondered what the salutation, not the angel. Meaning they had been seeing them. When the angel appeared to Zechariah and all of these kinds of people, it is the seraphs that cover. Cartoon films have, have created these things based on their interpretation. And now we are not criticizing them, but they have not helped us to understand the reality of spiritual things. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are we following now? Ah, I sense the presence of God. There are so many spiritual laws. I want you to know that. If I ask you what are the physical laws, you would name them. Sir Isaac Newton, in his study of mechanics, came up with several laws, right? There are, the, the, are fundamental laws, the first, second, third law. There are all kinds of laws. Laws of thermodynamics, conservation of matter, physics and chemistry has all kinds of law. Newton's law of universal gravitation. There are all kinds of law. Chemistry, Lechetlier's principle of equilibrium. All kinds, the Schrodinger equation. All of these things are men and women coming together in an attempt to explain laws. There are laws that guide our understanding into quantum physics. Right? When we do chemistry, qualitative analysis and all of that, we try to use the colors or, or the things that emanate from solutions to be able to help us know what um, ion or whatever it is that is there. All of these are physical laws. In the same way, there are spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. Spiritual laws. Bless you, Sam. Sorry. Hallelujah. Let's touch on two of these laws, can we? I read an article. There is a powerful series on finance. When we are teaching that one, we will share it. But let me give you the preview. The anchor scripture to that, that series is, Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup runneth over. There was a relationship between the anointing on his head and the running over of the cup. Thou anointed my head with oil and my cup running over. Hallelujah. Now, a wealthy man was once asked what the secret of his wealth was. And I got to find out that all he said was he found an ancient manual Right? A manual that dates 2,300 years ago, written by a Greek philosopher. That manual, they, seem, they said, seemed to contain some magic powers. That even if you read just the title alone, fortunes will begin to come to you. I know some of you, with all this message, will say, Where is that manual? I can ask God for forgiveness. Where is that manual? <laughs> Repent, this is the year of the rain. Many of you have, have suffered, it doesn't matter what. Where is that? Some of you will go and browse it after this, this meeting. Is there an online version? Let me go come and read it and come for miracle service. Hallelujah. That means, you know what this Illuminati and secret societies and all these occultic organizations do they are men and women who interacted with these spirit beings and they reveal to them a lot of these spiritual laws they reveal to them that this universe is not just sand they reveal to them that air is not just air water is not just water and they have excellently archived this principle through centuries right let me tell you these were the very principles that kings used. Did you hear that in ancient times, king has, kings had scrolls and certain things were written. In fact, part of the writings were magic formulas that would open certain doors. You see them in some of the films that you watch. All these things were an aberration of spiritual laws. What does that tell you? That means truly all things are available for life and godliness. 
if we can allow the Holy Spirit take the word of God and guide us, all things are really possible. Hallelujah. One of the most prominent business law among many business people is what they call the law of attraction. I, I, I don't believe it in that sense. And that law teaches that it is, it's, a, it's an extension of, of Newton's law of universal gravitation. That the earth is a living thing. Right? And it begins to say all kinds of things and it credits the power to modern nature. It makes it look like modern nature is supervising our, our, our activities. That's, that's demonic from the pit of hell. The devil will never give credit to God. And they have used it and made children brilliant in school. They have used those laws. How many of you have, 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 have seen all these things they spoke about? Uh, they speak about hypnotism and all of this. So I know I'm stretching you tonight. Some of you are wondering, who am I now? Am I a Christian? No, <laughs> Listen, I'm training you. Because one day, many of you who want to go abroad, you will go abroad and you will look for living faith and dunamis and redeem. You will not find anywhere. The only one you will find is a temple. A temple you must greet the priest to resume your work. And once you go there, they will look at you and when you will not bow, they will ask you questions. And you say, in Koinonia, I was taught ABC and they laughed. They say, really? You know, lack of exposure is what is making some of us comfortable with this, our Christianity. Because we think the whole world is like Zaria. When you go out of this place and see the way people hate God, you will know you need more to stand. Is that true? That's why God refused you from going abroad. Because he would have, he would have, he would have converted. Two days he would have, he would have left God. By the time they bamboozle your mind, and then they tell you, okay, just read this portion, and you read this portion, and you go out, and people start calling you from Nigeria and sending you money. So what is going on? Ah, say let me read the other parts that I didn't read again. You think you won't do it? hallelujah and the holy spirit has guided me through these spiritual laws a lot of them have been preached in the body of christ but even those who have preached them have not preached them with the level of revelation and gravity they just preach them because one person had another man of god preach it hallelujah number one my goodness pray in tongues for one minute say Lord open my eyes something is about to change in your life now I've had several encounters through the word of God I'm about to share with you I've read it in books over the years but when God began to open me up to it it changed my life forever Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 Let's see how far God will help us. We have to stop somewhere to pray. What you are about to learn must change you. I'm telling you, you will be so changed, you will be surprised. Many of you will carry the presence of God. You will carry the glory of God. You will see breakthroughs happen in your life in ways that will surprise you. Everybody read, please. One, two, read. Just the first portion, the first clause, one to read. Listen, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart. It didn't say so he will become, so he already is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he, so he. I learned and I have seen it. I taught the heads of department during our retreat a bit of it. And the Lord has permitted me to share this now. That your life, listen to me, your environment and the quality of your life is a reflection of both your mindset and the sum total of your belief system. Listen to me. Your life, the quality of your life today 
the quality of your life, the quality of your environment, the quality of the works of your hands and the things that you do is a direct reflection of your ideologies, a direct reflection of your perceptions about God, about life, about wealth, about whatever it is. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, that means your life will eventually open up and reveal to the physical what is in your heart. A powerful spiritual law that your life and your environment will eventually become a reflection of your reality. My goodness. My goodness. That means heaven is a revelation of God's mindset. Heaven is a reflection of the excellency of his thought. Earth is a reflection of the mindset of mankind. Selfishness. Watch this. I don't know if it was last week or so that, that I said it. I think I shared it during the retreat. Take a security man. Is that true? Take him to the office. Assuming you have a, a corporation with three story buildings the last story building belongs to the ceo take the security man to that story building leave him there for two weeks that office will start reflecting his mindset right immediately because when the man sits on that chair his mindset will refuse that reality first he will feel he does not qualify for it and then second, he will be afraid because he would think that after a while they will come and take it. So he will say, let me steal and loot. The first thing is he will remove whether, what did I say that day? Stabilizer. He will steal the stabilizer and run away and sell it. And say, how can you put a the big stabilizer, 10,000? I mean, the, the light is regulated from NEPA on or, or what, what they call him? Power holding company. Praise God. So he will steal it. The next time you will see a beautiful artwork and you will say how much will they sell this one please they say twenty thousand i say go and sell it there are two sell one and leave one right you give him a glass cup he says no package them together let's sell it buy me a rubber cup please I'm, I'm contented his mindset is already playing out he will step into the place dirty and won't clean it right he will eat food and leave it there he will lead that document he will take any piece of paper and clean water with it not knowing what the document is at the end of two weeks that office has reflected his ideology that's why those who get who wants to be a millionaire none of them ends up being a true millionaire after five years because what they are, what they have gotten does not subscribe to the truth the principles that brought it you never become wealthy by receiving dash money i'm telling you this there are people who receive hundred thousand every month maybe from parents or well-wishers but the revelation they have about prosperity about god about money drives wealth away from them is that true are you getting me there are men of god whose churches you will never see miracles happen because there is a mindset about miracles they have that will never allow the holy spirit to bless people is that true they don't want to see anybody fall under their anointing they don't disturb us with noise we want order in this church and because of that although they are god fearing the holy spirit wants to do great things but their ideology so listen to me the only way to change your life is to change your mindset and your perception listen to me I was teaching the leaders and I taught them this. I told them, do you know why some ministries have the best of everything? Have you wondered why? You see certain ministries, the best keyboardists, the best um, computer um, people, the best sound people. Let me tell you why. Because the, the, the mindset of that man, right? will bring to that ministry people who are consistent with his ideology there goes the saying birds of the same feathers do what so the bible says this in proverbs chapter 4 now right 
4 verse 23 it says guard your heart you see that with all diligence this is the bible it says keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are what the issues the quality of your life is locked up within your mindset i believe god for anything I believe God can take this ministry to any height. Hallelujah. I do not ever believe that there can be limitations in the work of God. That's my mindset. Right? That's why you see members of living faith. For instance, they are men of faith because they are a reflection of the conviction of the founder. Being a man of rugged faith it's in living faith you hear that a man died and they carried him and rubbed oil from his head to his toe till he came back and they come to testify do you have the gods to do that kind of thing it's in living faith you hear that a man died and for three days his wife was with the man on the bed and said you are still my husband you are alive and after three days he comes back to life he did not need to necessarily change them he first changed himself listen if you are not changed your words will not carry power. Your words only reflect the authority based on the change that has occurred in you. That's why, see, let me tell you, if Creflo Dollar or any of these people who are really well, they come right now and teach you on prosperity, some of you will be crying and you hate poverty forever. Not necessarily because what they are sharing is deep. They are communicating their reality. If Sam comes and holds the mic and begins to worship, what he is reflecting to you is an overflow of his reality the deposit of the anointing within him are you hearing what i'm saying that's why you can listen to another musician and nod your head and frank edwards for instance can sit on his keyboard and play the same song and you are crying brothers and sisters leaders influence people by becoming the change they want the people to be right that means when I become convicted by my ideologies, it will influence your perception and it will be easy to change you. That's why the more successful a man becomes, the easier it becomes to influence others. Because his life now has sufficient testimonies. Are we getting blessed? Many of us want to see changes in our lives in 2015. Hear me? Change will never come if you are still blaming people you and god in partnership with his word are the only requirements for that change to come if you do not allow the word of god to renew your mindset i promise you you will never get anything in your life that has not first become a reality and a deposit in your spirit is somebody hearing what i'm saying that's where it is out of this that all kinds of religions bring a lot of metaphysics and what they call um, astral meditation, right? So they tell you, put a picture of the, the jeep and you look at it and say, ah! They say, now see yourself in the jeep. They say, I'm driving. You see, that is madness. But I'm only trying to tell you that they stole those laws. They are an aberration, a corruption of spiritual laws that's why whenever god wants to bless a man god convinces you and makes sure you agree with him if you don't agree with him it will never happen in your life for a long time god kept telling abraham i want to change you abraham could not get it because of his idol worship mentality and god said come out i don't know what to do to you. come out he said start counting the stars abraham was counting and he was seen, he will count and miss. God said, do it, just continue. And his mind was acclimatizing. And Abraham said, wow. And the Bible says, finally, Abraham believed. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. When the angel appeared to Gideon, Gideon said, oh, oh, don't deceive me. The angel took time. He didn't quarrel Gideon. Because he knew that if Gideon did not agree with him, nothing would happen. And Gideon said, I need proof. Let the cloth be wet let the ground be dry he said no problem if that's what it takes to adjust your mindset to authorize us go ahead 
And Gideon said, now don't be offended. Let the cloth be dry. I, I want to convince myself. When Mary said, how shall these things be? Gabriel owed her an explanation. And it took time to explain. And she said, I believe. Although I've never seen how a woman gives birth without a man. But I believe. And he said, be it unto me according to your word. Instantly she got pregnant. Zechariah had seen a lot of spiritual laws. That's why when he doubted Gabriel, he said, let's shut the mouth of this man. He's going to use the next spiritual law I'm about to teach you to change what we want to do. Is somebody learning something? Hear me. This is what makes ministry easy. I never spend time just wondering how do we publicize to get crowd. Koinonia will be a reflection of the quality of both the spiritual, the intellectual, and the physical ideologies of the leaders. You change a system by changing the leaders. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Many of our fathers did not change themselves. They took one bottle of Gouda and slapped you where you took one cup. Did you change? You see that? Because they have become a reality for you and they are saying, if I catch you drinking, that's the day I will kill you. Go and buy me Gouda, Joe. They just finished talking to you and they said, go and buy it. Please hear me. If you want to see changes in your life, you are going to have to find out what ideologies have kept me where I am. There are some of you who never believe God can bless you. Right? As you are looking at me right now, if God even says he will give you 100,000, you say, Amen. You know that kind of unbelieving Amen. Listen, let's not make God look like a liar. This is the year of the rain. There are some of you who God wants you to walk in levels of anointing you have never seen. There are some of you who want to, God wants you to walk in certain depths. But do you believe him? There is nothing God has told me that I've not believed. I don't announce things till I'm sure I've believed it. When I believe it, I don't care who believes it again. So be it. The word of the Lord will come to pass. When God told Noah, he said, rain is coming. Build an ark. Do you think Noah just said, yes, sir? No. Noah would have said, God, my name is Noah. Your name is Yahweh. You're, you are almighty. We are not the same. Convince me. Convince me. When Noah was convinced, after 120 years, based on X timing, he still didn't give up. We talk about Abraham who waited 25 years. What of Noah? Noah waited 120 years. I'm sure people will say, look, when we were 50 years, when I gave birth to three children, this stupid man was busy building this ark. He has been searching for gopher wood around the whole world to build, searching for gum, searching for a lot of things. And then when he finished, we now saw him going to the jungle, looking for every kind of bed. Imagine what they would have told his wife. Say, madam, did you have to marry this man? But listen, one day, one day, his confidence in God showed him. Listen, you may be tightening now. You are seeing what God is doing in your life. You are seeing the anointing of the Spirit upon your life. It may not show. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are what? Seen. But the things that are unseen. I'm giving you a scriptural proof. It said, for the things that are seen are what? Temporal. That means there is a level of confidence and renewal that can change anything you see before you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe this? Pastor Jakes is here. He will testify. Right from when the ministry, this used to be all of us. We form a, Aaron is here. We form a circle. And all just sit down on the floor. I make certain statements like a fool. Right? But today, and listen, this is not even it yet. You wait and see what God will do with us. Oh, I believe him. I believe him. Absolutely. Carve upon my heart This truth that sets me free According to your
Do you know your academic situation can change? Please, I'm speaking to somebody. Do you know your destiny can change? If you keep thinking we are the helpless Nigerians, I guarantee you, after 50 years, you will celebrate golden jubilee suffering. But I will feed nations. Huh? I may be rubbing granite oil as, as, as Vaseline, but a day will come. While we look not, brothers and sisters as i look at you i don't see the weak you that's why i say as i look at you i see nations nations who told you you will not be the mother of nations i'm 30 years so what so what about 30 years would you stand and say i saw when i was 23 i know that the lord told me i'm giving birth to a prophet and it's going to arise that vision is still there i am convinced yeah the things that we see are subject to change one day you are taking your bath and you see growths and tumors all around your body you just say hey this is how i'm going to die cancer and the devil said not just cancer fibroid fibroid notice do you know that many sick people may carry certain sicknesses for years and never fall sick because doctor has not told them now doctors don't be don't be sad i'm just saying because you did you did not know it was not your reality many men were carrying prostate cancer carrying all kinds of things many ladies carrying fibroids carrying a lot of things and nothing happened to them but the day they looked and said do you know do you really know the implication of ss are you aware that the way that this has been happening you won't get a child in fact, the way we are looking, cat is your womb self. It's not looking like the womb of a human being. You just say, ah. And you now start saying, that means no marriage. A godly brother comes and you say, my brother, I'm pitying you. you. I don't want you to suffer in this life. Reality. I hope you are laughing and you are, see, I'm telling you the secret to some of these results that you see. These are my contemplations. Those who know me know that my reality is defined. I never surround myself with nonsense. You don't come around me gossiping and, and gossiping and speaking because I know that I am absolutely in control. This has become the mirror to my world. This is how I see things. I only see things consistent. When I'm going for a meeting, I know there will be an outpouring of the spirit. I don't care whether they have faith or not. I don't care whether they can believe or not. Whether they are instrumentalists to charge the atmosphere or not is irrelevant. When I step there, I know that I bring an atmosphere. I carry my own spiritual climate. Me and the Holy Spirit, a team. The workers in this ministry have received of this spirit. That's why in the afternoon they arrange chairs and they dress. Who guaranteed them that you were coming? Did you sign a form? We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. Koinonia, hear me tonight. We are only 23 or 24 days into January. You can sit down with this, your belief system, and you will celebrate Christmas in this condition. Or you can rise up. Ah, but I know people who love God, they have died. I know people who love God, things have happened. Brothers and sisters, we are talking about you here, not your neighbor. The just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? I read a story of somebody 109 years, still alive. In fact, three women, they were even putting makeup. 109 years and strong in the midst of this wicked world they don't expect what do you expect in your life see these are powerful spiritual laws the second law give me five minutes genesis chapter one verse three quickly please the creative power of words i know that we have been taught that words are powerful but i want to show you the spiritual dimension of words there is a reason why god called himself the word Do you know why god named himself the word it says and god did what and god 
not and God wished, not and God expected, not and God complained. He said the earth was dark and void and formless. And God, the talking spirit, said. The word said there doesn't mean and God declared. What it meant was God commanded it to be so. The word said there does not just mean and God recited. No, God didn't recite anything. Say I'm healed, I'm healed. That's recitation. You are not talking. What many people have been talking in the body of Christ that they are calling confession is recitation. I'm telling you this. Con the word confess comes from the Greek word homologio. It's not just repeat what you say. It's you are giving an empowerment to say it. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And you read the verses down the line. It says, and God said, and he saw. And God said, and he saw. And God said, and he saw. Listen to me. Words are powerful. Because when you speak a word, it activates spiritual laws and deactivates other laws. Listen to me. There are many laws that make realities to work. The key to activating their operation is in words. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when you speak, whether you realize it or not, something is loosed and something is tied. It depends on what is loosed and what is tied. Please follow me. The Bible says, how did he put it now? Whatsoever you bind, right? Do you bind just by tying a rope? Jesus looked at a fig tree and he didn't need to say the law of fruitfulness cease operation from this tree. The law of regeneration stop. I command the fertilizer don't enter the root again. He just used words and activate all the laws that needed to be activated for that tree to shrink. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So instead of learning all the laws, God gives you the keys that activates them. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when I declare and I say, I am healed, I release a lot of spiritual laws. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If we stand now and I declare, I say in the name of Jesus, the power of God will start moving in this place. Suddenly you hear people falling and shouting. Why didn't it happen now? Listen. The words that I'm speaking are activating both the operation of angels, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Our words activate the dimension of God that is revealed in a meeting. That's why when during miracle service, the worship people sing songs that invoke that dimension. Are you getting what we're saying? If you know this, you will know that from morning till night, some of you have activated woes and tragedies in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen, let's, let me show you a few scriptures. Our time, I've been fighting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we've been closing so late. We'll see what we can do about it. It's just the passion in my heart. Psalm 141 verse 3. Media, please help us. Let's rush. So that we get up and round up. <sighs> Psalms 141 verse 3. It says, set a watch, O Lord, before where? And do what? Keep a door. Knowing that every time I speak, my mouth didn't just open. A door open in the spirit. The opening of my mouth is the opening of a door in the spirit. He says, set a watch. Oh God, this my mouth can lead me in trouble. So set a watch. Set a watch over my mouth. Numbers chapter 14 verse 28. Zipra toka shila kariyata koso brandika tayaraba. Vindike sila kariyaba. Numbers 14 verse 28. Very quickly. Everyone read. One to read. 28 28 say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in my ears so i will do what i 
as I hear you say, not wish. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord. He already called you redeemed, but he said, say it. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Let the anointing of the, the anointed of the Lord say so. They are not reminding themselves. They are activating that reality. Everybody say, when I speak, I activate realities. Say it again. When I speak, I activate spiritual laws. That's right. It depends on what law you activate. But something must be activated. When you understand this, you will know that words are expensive. Let's look at just two more verses. Proverbs 18, verse 21. If you can look at that. Proverbs 18. You can write it down. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Listen. Death and life are where? Did he say death and life are on top of your head? Did he say death and life are... It says death and life are in the power. The proceeds of the tongue. And like a seed, they that love it shall eat the fruit that grows from that seed. The Bible says the seed is the word. In the parable of the sower. What is the seed? Meaning every time you speak, you sow the seed. Is that true? He said the seed is the word. So when I begin to speak, even in tongues I'm sowing, I'm activating laws in the spirit. When I begin to pray, my day is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am lifted. I'm activating spiritual laws and I authorize the spirit of God to begin to schedule opportunities, to schedule certain things. And you find out that after prayer, you activate laws of favor. As you are stepping out, you bump into your destiny helper. You call it coincidence. The Bible calls it life that your tongue released. That's why Job said, what I have feared most has come upon me. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Please let's read it together. He that keepeth his mouth. Stop. How do you keep your life? Insurance. Answer me. I'm not against insurance. Do life assurance, life insurance. But the Bible, the written word of God, the living logos. He that keep. How do you keep your life in the spirit? By keeping your mouth. Ah. Papa Hagin said this. Kenneth Copeland said this. Those guys said these things. So many people. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. He said, I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. But I can only advise you. Choose. He said, he that keepeth his mouth. Keepeth what? He said, but he that openeth wide his lips, speaking nonsense any day, any time, and saying it does not matter, he says that he shall have what? As a fruit. Brothers and sisters, listen. Ladies, when we are, wait, when we are about to pray, in the midst of your prayer, you will lay your hands on your womb and pray and say, no devil. No devil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of you are afraid right now. The rate at which ladies are scared of fibroid is alarming. You are just eating too much. You look at your stomach and say, this, this, thing, this is how it starts. I have the power to create. And I have the power to destroy. The power of words is in its ability to activate spiritual laws. That's what I want you to know. Many of us have been taught that words are powerful, but what makes it powerful? Words are keys in the spirit. They activate laws. So now, it's not just blind confession. Oh, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. As if you are reciting a magic formula. No, that's madness. You speak out of the abundance of knowledge that when I declare that I am blessed, I am activating something. 
you wait until we have the other series that we have there are so many things that you will learn this year two laws you have learned tonight the first one is that there are spiritual laws and that one of the laws listen is that to change your outside you change what is inside stop wasting your time whatever you don't like outside get the renewal the mind component of what you want outside bill johnson got it right when he wrote the book the supernatural power of a transformed mind i don't expect this ministry to ever go down we'll keep speaking it we'll keep rising i expect every one of you in this year to break on every side and whenever i pray for you that's what i pray i don't pray blindly and say lord may your will be done i know what his will is his will is not fake his spirit has revealed his will in his word i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prosper for i know the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end hallelujah rise up on your feet we're going to pray we'll pray for just five minutes but i want us to take this serious because as we're praying something will be happening to you lift your voice and thank him for the word the reality of spiritual laws bless him bless him for the word don't trivialize what you have received it has changed kings it has made champions you only arise and shine when your light comes and then the glory of the lord rises upon you hallelujah three quick prayer points prayer point number one you are going to say lord let the ministry of the holy ghost be strong in my life so that you will open me up to these deep mysteries lift your voice and pray pray no matter your spiritual level even if you are just visiting for the first time pray from the depths of your heart please pray inside and in the overflow lift your voice and pray it's the year of the rain. Holy Spirit, overshadow me in a new dimension. Open me up to the mysteries and the depths and the dimensions. hallelujah hallelujah prayer point number two you are going to pray and say lord whatever needs to change in my life for my the quality of my life to change let the word of god change it change my inner reality change my mindset lift your voice and cry passionately your life is at the mercy of this prayer. Lord, I desire a new level of excellence. A new level of grace. A new level of possibility in my life. Go ahead and pray. Help me to believe in you. Help me to believe in you. Help me to believe in you as the healer. Help me to believe you are able. Help me to believe you are mighty. Change my mindset. Change my perception. Change my perception about prosperity. Change my perception about protection. Change my perception about spiritual power change my perception about my academics 
change my perception about my marriage change my perception about my ministry about my business about my job about my husband about my wife about my organization lift your voice and pray your life is a reflection an eventual reflection of your convictions of your perception oh it's a powerful spiritual law i pray you believe it i pray you believe it hallelujah last prayer point father imprint in my spirit the revelation that my words are powerful go ahead and pray imprint in me lord i cancel every negative word that i've spoken in my life i cancel it by the blood of jesus confessions i made when i was angry i cancel it by the blood of jesus dangerous laws i activated that kill favor in my life confessions that killed my prayer life confessions that killed my my integrity lift your voice and pray koinonia outside make sure you are praying no matter how far you are no matter how far you are connect with us in prayer hallelujah hallelujah now find a neighbor and for the next one minute i'd like you to activate laws over that person's life activate favor activate grace activate hunger for spiritual things close every door of witchcraft close every door of failure find a serious neighbor that came to koinonia to pray lift your voice and pray I bless this house in the name of Jesus. I command favor upon your people. I command favor. I command long life. I sow seeds of greatness. I sow seeds of power. I release the operation of the Holy Ghost upon lives, upon families. I command supernatural dreams. I command visions. I release encounters with the Holy Ghost. Encounters with the spirit of might. Encounters of favor. Encounters of power. I command no death, no accident, no terrorism, no bomb blast, no witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I command every law that has been activated, that is being manipulated by darkness over your life to bring failure, to bring woes. I cancel it. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Bless your neighbor. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you. Let the fountain of the heavens be open for you. Let men look for you. May they bless you. May you become the subject of discussion. I bless your academics. I change your result. I change your genotype. I command promotion to your job. Increase in your ministry. Increase in your business. Increase in your anointing. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Listen. 
what I'm teaching you now is the true spirit of prophecy many people speak but the problem is we don't we have not been taught what happens in the spirit when you speak in one minute I want to release words in your life listen now you know what happens listen demonic spirits enchantments and spells all they do is to activate laws against you that's all that happens when they enchant things the bible says in job chapter 5 that you will be delivered from the scorching tongues of men men use their tongues to tie your destiny men use their tongues to tie your womb but i come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood lift your hands and receive this prophecy in the name that is above all names i command opportunities i command opportunities i command favor in the name of the son of the living god i command favor i activate favor from the realm of the spirit the reign of favor the reign of goodness the reign of favor the reign of goodness in the name of jesus christ i speak against every infirmity that has challenged your body the power that spoke it into being i cause that power and i command that that infirmity leaves your body now these hands that are lifted may men bring finances to that hand i prophesy it in the name of the lord jesus that this week that is coming these hands that are lifted i tell you many of you will return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ whatever manipulates your intelligence so that you don't understand what is taught whatever tears the devil sowed among the wheat in the name that is above all names i release you from that power now hear me anyone here who has been caused by your parents they did not know they were angry but they didn't know they activated a law that has made things to work against you i stand under this apostolic office tonight i reverse that law in the name of jesus i reverse that law in the name of jesus for everyone that costs you i bless you i bless you some of us everything works for everybody until it gets to your turn things are so hard a little thing you have to suffer in the name of jesus in this year of the rain i prophesy upon your life let supernatural ease come to your life whoever must call you and help you and open the door for your next level wherever they are in the name of jesus the same way wise men saw the star and they went to jesus with gifts i call them wherever they are may they come to you in the name of jesus i release upon you grace beginning from today whatever you do will prosper every enchantment that killed your prayer life so you stop speaking you stop waking up in the night to pray and orchestrate things powers were invoked to make you sleep and not wake up and pray right now i stretch my hands to the heavens and in the name of the god of heaven i command those spells broken May your prayer life resurrect in the name of Jesus. Hear me. The grace to wake up in the night and speak into the womb of the morning. I release that grace upon you. Ladies, whoever has called you weak and whoever has said you will not amount to anything in the name of the Lord Jesus, I can't 
answer that statement now in the name of Jesus. Hear me. Whatever your life has been associated with before now, sickness, failure, lack of spiritual fire, in the name of Jesus I change that situation now I change that situation now I change that situation now hear me any human agent responsible for where you are except I am not called of God in the name of Jesus we release a sword of judgment we release a sword of judgment hear me i say it again that if there is any human agent that has participated in the downfall of your life your finances and your family i command judgment now i command judgment now at the brother that shared the testimony 2005 to 2015 whatever wants to tie you that when others are moving you will not move forward in the name of Jesus I release you today in the name of Jesus there are people seated here right from praise and worship there are so many listening to me the first overflow and all the overflows around there are so many connecting you know on our social media platforms and you're hearing my voice right now and the Holy Spirit is telling you the man of God is talking to you the first miracle that can happen to you tonight is the miracle of ending the mismanagement of your life by trying to run it your own way are we together that you hand over your life when you come to Jesus you don't just come and accept him in your heart you take your heart and say Lord I give you everything not I give you my spiritual life I hand over my entire life to you everything I've been through use it for your glory Lord I offer my life to you everything that's true repentance that as you come here you are not just coming because you are feeling guilty you are coming here sincerely saying I'm tired of mismanaging my life there's got to be more than this there's got to be more than living my life the way I want I must come under authority and I know there are so many people inside and outside hearing my voice. Some of you have never made this decision to make Jesus Lord of your life. You've made a decision to go to church. You've made a decision to join a religion called Christianity. But you have not made a true decision to surrender everything. And there are people, there's another category I'll call all by uh, at, at once so that we'll save time. There are those who at one point you truly made a genuine decision but the cares of this life the challenges in your life just overwhelmed you and right now you know that as it is right now as it is right now you cannot say things are all right between you and god you've backslidden you've you've turned away but the bible says if my people who are called by my name it says shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then it says then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and then will heal their land forgiveness will always follow healing are we together I'm going to make an altar call right now any of the overflows outside inside here very fast I'll count one to ten listen there are people the Holy Ghost is speaking to and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus. You're saying, Lord, things are happening in my family. I do not even know the name of what is going in my family. The first key is to surrender your all. To sacrifice everything before his throne. And say, Lord, I'm not just coming to receive healing. I'm coming to start a new life. 
is called Zoe, God's very life. Not another kind, the very life of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before I make the altar call, I want us to all close our eyes and pray in one minute, intercede for those who are about to come and say, Lord, no power will stop them from coming. No power will stop them from coming. We believe in the salvation of souls. This is not a cinema where we are watching football. This is a place where God is changing lives and destinies. Pray. As you are praying for many of you, the Lord is going to be speaking to you right now. There are so many outside in all the overflows. It's like you've been waiting for a man to call you and say, return home. He's calling you. He's calling you. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to count one to ten. Wherever you are, please, I'd like us to begin to celebrate them. Outside, inside, don't wait for others. You are returning to Christ and you are making this decision for the first time. Leave your seat and make your way quickly. One, we'll count one to ten. Don't wait for anybody. God bless you. They are coming. Two, please clear the way for them outside. Don't let no friend stop you. Jesus is calling you. No, no, no. You are doing, you are doing a very noble thing. Don't let any friend. Please encourage them outside. If you came with anyone, don't stop them from coming out. God will punish you if you stop anybody from coming out because he's your friend. It's, it's, it's an entirely... Um, it's a personal affair God bless you, keep coming Koinonia, a sacrifice of your applause to motivate them and encourage them Jesus Son of God I believe in you I believe Keep coming. Jesus, Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Hallelujah. The Lord is still speaking to me that there are people you need to make your ways right with God. In fact, the Lord is showing me at least three ladies You've not prayed like for the last two months because you are asking what I have done. Will the Lord really, really open up himself to me? And the Lord is saying you should make your way to the front. Clear the way for them, please. Clear the way. I don't care whether you are a pastor, you are a prophet. Make your way to the front. This is serious business. I believe there are still people outside in the overflows, the first, the second overflow and across the road. Please make your way to the front. We are going to wait for you. One more minute, we are going to wait for you. We are going to wait for you. Please don't play games with God tonight. This is your destiny. He wants to bless you. He says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. He says, thoughts of peace, thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. I believe in you. I believe in you. Let's all sing this song one more time and then we'll pray for them. Jesus, Son of God, I believe Hallelujah. I sincerely want to appreciate us, young and old. We are all here to receive Jesus Christ. Look at me, please. If I, if I give you a new phone, you don't accept it as though you are embarrassed. You accept it with gratitude. Salvation is greater than any other thing you will be receiving tonight. Are we together? And so I want you to be very proud of what you are doing. Whether you are being restored or you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Just make sure you are not reciting a poem. Make sure this is from the depth of your heart. Are we together? Lift your right hand high to the heavens and say this after me. I'm just guiding you.
but the most important thing is the sincerity of your heart say after me Lord Jesus I believe in you I believe that Jesus is the Son of God I believe that he died for me I believe that he rose again for my justification tonight I make Jesus my Savior my Lord I hand over my life and my destiny to your care and I ask that you be my Lord my God my King forever from today the hold of sin the hold of the flesh over my life comes to an end this is a new beginning in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted as I pray for you father you see these hands lifted they have made genuine sincere commitments I pray that the Spirit of God that is our seal of redemption will be a witness to this spiritual transaction and I pray in the name of Jesus that from tonight let there be a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a new beginning for every one of us no going back to the world no going back to the flesh by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen and amen a big congratulations to all of you this is the best decision you would have made in your entire life hallelujah now I like you to follow okay this way we're going to follow um, the ushers as they lead you there'll be a group of people to have your names your details and we'll follow you up they'll be very brief so that you come back and join us um, please be very fast with them because we're about to get up um, to the ministrations right away God bless you thank you for this great decision let's honor them koinonia bless them bless them Let's honor them as they go. Please rise up on your feet. We are going to pray for a few minutes. Hallelujah. We are about to pray for a few minutes. And I want our hearts to be open. Let's participate in the prayer. Hallelujah. Listen. When we pray hear me when we pray we authorize heaven to step into our lives are we together this is a miracle service and i want us to pray jeremiah 33 verse 3 please media help us we're about to pray we're about to pray jeremiah 33 verse 3 it says call on to me and i will answer call on to me and i will answer he says and i will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not call on to me you see prayer is a sign of humility because it's an indication that there is so much i do not know and there is so much i cannot do are we together prayer is a sign of humility when you call on God to step into your life, it is because you acknowledge that He is able. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I know you are able. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, pray, pray. We are praying, please. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I believe you are able. That's why I'm here tonight. I believe you are able to heal that cancer, to heal that HIV. Lord, I believe that you are able to give me a new story. Harapako Soto Pratagadebeledebos. 
I acknowledge you. I recognize you as the mighty God. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare that every force tying down my life, tying down my destiny, tying down my progress, you come under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Oh, come on, Koinoni, are you praying? Every force Shabakata laba karya daba daba Mande kapras kabarata kareto supa Shekete prete kele baba 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 Rakata barato soto pregele belele bo Embrakata lakate seketa ba Sheke pras kabarata laba dash Oh you come on that rest tonight Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I set before you this day blessing and cursing, life and death. But he says, I advise you, choose life so that you and your family will live. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. I make a decision. Tonight, I make a choice tonight that I must leave this place free I like you to open your mouth and mention the challenges that brought you here and say I am determined I make a decision I make a decision I make a decision I make a decision. I make a decision. Are you praying? Shabarakatalaba. Mambrakatalakata. I make a decision. I make a decision. Please pray. Make sure you are praying. I make a decision. I must walk out of here healed tonight. I must walk out of here changed tonight. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every covenant orchestrated by darkness to keep me limited in life, to keep my family limited in life. Tonight, I declare that this is my night of victory. Lift your voice and cry, cry, cry. Cry unto the God of your salvation.
They must be broken. They must be broken. And contend. And contend by faith. Contend. I contend by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. I'd like you to pray and say, Every area that is not working, say it every area in my life that is not producing results. To now, you come under the influence of the anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Your finances may not be working. Your spiritual life may be working. You are praying your, to a new dimension of God. We declare your majesty, your majesty, your majesty, your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Your majesty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to the instruction the Lord is giving me. Please listen. Let's walk together, guys. Please, let's walk together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to shout three times. Listen. Hallelujah. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit is like I'm standing on top of this building and I'm seeing like a pot boiling, but it's about to tilt. That's what I'm saying. And the Lord is telling me that at the third shout, we are going to shout once shout to by the third shout listen the first thing that will happen by the time we take that third shout there will be such an explosion of the power of god a mighty deliverance anointing and that's how we're going to start off tonight are we together it's called a healer it's a mystery it's a mystery that crumbles walls When they went round the walls of Jericho, they shouted. The instrumentalists, everybody together. Hallelujah. Just be stupid enough to obey this instruction. And watch the God of wonders do mighty things in your life. You are shouting pain away. You are shouting sickness away. You are shouting captivity away. Hallelujah. My goodness, I'm telling you, the power of God is so strong in this place. Mighty, 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 mighty. I'm going to count three. When I count three, listen, I want you to shout from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. And then the second time we are going to shout listen as surely as the god of heaven lives by the third shout in the name of the lord god whose i am and who has sent me the wonders that will happen in your life by this third shout 
it's a mystery brothers and sisters how God operates are you ready Shaba la karato sobre di yeniba. One, two, three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, all those under the anointing, just bring them out. But really, it's from the third time. Are you ready for number two? Was shouting powers out of men's destinies. Was shouting thrones, dominions that have tied down the lives of men. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> hallelujah now be sensitive oh i feel it on me here it comes that grace that unction that grace that unction by the third shout hear me angels will begin to move in dramatic ways there will be an eruption of the power of god inside and outside are you ready i make a decree in the realm of the spirit and i pray according to the word of the lord as we make this shout i command thrones i command dominions i command altars and everything tying the destinies of men to give way in the name of the lord jesus are you ready now one two three Go ahead. Go ahead. Get your 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 I tell you, it's like volcano. That's what I see in the spirit. Falling on people. Falling on people. You baby. prophetic the mantle of the prophetic 21 people that's what i see 21 people right now oh god in the name of jesus wherever they are at the count of three let that mantle fall on them 21 one two three take it take it take it new wine take it Prophetic mantle. Prophetic mantle. Prophetic mantle. I call it forth. I call it forth. I call it forth. Mantles. Twenty one people. Stepping into prophetic anointings by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I activate it. I activate it. I activate it. I stand under this apostolic anointing. I activate it.
please. More sound on my mic, please. I'm seen in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seen in the realm of the spirit. So many people having their hands tied with chains. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Chains. This is a spirit of limitation. Lift your hands, everyone. I want to take authority over this spirit. Wherever you are, inside and outside, I'd like you to get ready. If you are in this category, something will happen to you. Let the sword of the spirit part those chains open. Are you ready? I command the chains. Be broken now. 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 There's a family God is liberating. A whole family. They are here. I'm seeing God touch them. Right now. Giving them miracles. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me. Send a word that will bring me hope. Send a word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm hearing the name Memuna. We have to rush. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Is there someone with that name here? Memuna. That's what I'm hearing. Shabakoto Paratoya. Memuna. Outside. Who is that? Memuna, you are outside. Who is that? Come. Look at me. Where are you coming from? Huh? I'm looking at you. Listen, look at me. You just came from somewhere here. Huh? Is there a, a mic? I'm looking at you. And I'm seeing you enter transport. And you are coming from Abuja to come here. Where did you come from? From Abuja. From Abuja. That's where you are coming. Because I look in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing you in a car. And you came. And I'm seeing you praying. And asking God to visit you and visit your family is that why you are here yes. your family you were saying if only you come here god will visit your family and god is saying he's bringing a breakthrough to memuna and her family in the name of the lord jesus christ i break that curse over your family by the power of the holy ghost it lives forever lift your hands and give jesus praise lift your hands and give jesus praise lift your hands and give jesus praise look at me Please call the lady again. My dear, where is your mother? Uh, what's she doing? Uh, she's a civil servant. She's a civil servant. We have to pray because the devil wants to put sickness. She's complaining of pains in her body. She went to the hospital. Uh, she may not have told you. She went to the hospital last week and they said she should be careful because she's having problems with her back. Yes. Is that true? Yes. That's what the doctor said that she's having problem with her back. Yes. This is witchcraft. It's not just pain like that. Your mother cannot even watch for 10 minutes. Her yes. back will start paining yes. her. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for mama right now wherever she is. Let there be a supernatural miracle for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, can I talk to you please? Yes, that madam that one with um, yes please make sure you are praying God is touching people we just want to be fast I wish we had time no 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 you don't have to kneel down please stand up 
Where are you coming from, madam? From Jigawa, Jigawa State. Jigawa State. Yes. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a woman who has gone through pain and she's crying. And I'm wondering why are you going through all of this? Uh, some of them I may not be able to say it here. But you were invited here. I'm with my sister. That's what I'm saying. Where is she? I'm seeing two people. Where is the sister? Come. Come and stand. Hold on. I'm hearing the Lord speak to me and saying there are two other people. Yes. There are two other people again yes. that you came with aside from you. Yes. Where are they? Yeah, yeah. Where are they? Two other people. Where are they? Please come and stand. I want to announce to you, all of you, that God will give you a testimony tonight that will surprise you. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe me. The things I see, I may not be able to tell you right now. Because um, one of you has a problem with your husband. I don't want to go into... Hold on. I, should I talk? Do you want me to talk? Calm down. Let me talk to you. You came out. Let me talk. Madam, please look at me. Your husband needs deliverance. You believe what I'm saying? You love God. You are a sincere woman. But your husband needs deliverance. Huh? Where is he? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a woman crying. A man coming to vomit. Huh? Like I may vomit from drunkenness. And then this thing is telling on you. Huh? Are you a Christian? You love the Lord. I'm seeing you praying for this woman. Yes. Huh? Yes. That's yes, why I ask this... you, how do I know you are wearing something? I'm seeing you praying for her. Yes, In fact, sir. even when you stood there, you are saying that God should locate this woman yes, and sir. bless her. Yes, I'm hearing sir. your prayers. The Lord is ministering it to me and he's saying you should bless her. And the Lord God of heaven is saying he's going to bless her and bless you too. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Will you believe what I tell you? Why am I seeing you in a wedding gown? Are you married? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you in a wedding gown. Listen to me very yes. carefully. And I'm seeing two men standing. Hold on. I'm seeing one man and I'm seeing another man. Yes, and the man is saying he married before this one. Yes. He comes to you in a dream. Yes, is that true? Yes, sir. This man I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Tell me the truth. Now don't be embarrassed. Yes, this has affected your marriage. Stand up. It's time to deliver you. Because I'm seeing you get married and I'm seeing two men your real husband and another one in the realm of the spirit he comes to you in a dream but the lord is saying i should set you free Elohim, you reign you reign you reign lady you left the hospital this morning your mother is in the hospital it's part of the reasons why you came here please who is that your mother you left her in the hospital and you came here please when you get that person let me pray for her because God wants to do a miracle I want to pray for you the Bible says what God has joined let no man put asunder God did not join you on any spirit entity and he's going to deliver you in the name of Jesus be free let her go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit madam please look at me your husband needs deliverance his own money finishes on friend and friends and beer is that true is that true, it's true. because I'm seeing him not only drink but buying for his friends and they finish the entire money you are a very kind woman no. but the truth is he's not giving you even one naira you don't even get money from him but the lord is going to be changing things now let me tell you how it will change it will look as if it's getting worse but you watch and see what god is going to be doing you believe that 
Yes, I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle, a supernatural miracle. A supernatural miracle. A supernatural miracle. There is a woman from Katsina. There is a woman from Katsina. A woman from Katsina. That's what I'm seeing. A woman, you are outside. You didn't cover your hair. You are from Katsina. Where is that person? Is there someone like that, please? Where is that person? Why are you clapping? Where is the person? Please come. From Katsina. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up, madam. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Look at me. The Lord is saying I should quote a scripture for you. When the Lord again shall turn your captivity, He says you will be like them that day. Madam, you have cried enough in this miracle service. The God of heaven is about to wipe your tears. Mary. Mary. Who is Mary? Mary. Mary. I know there are many Marys. Hold on, please. Hold on. Let me call the Mary. The Mary is in this row. Mary, you are seated here. No, 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 no. At the back, you are wearing a dark cloth. Right here. You didn't cover your head. The Mary is in... No, like I don't know if it's a dark cloth like it has flower it's a gown it's a gown straight down gown not gown with skirt is there someone like that Mary this robe the angel of the Lord is there is it a gown or someone I'm seeing something with flower is there someone like that please find out Mary I need to talk to that person I need to talk to that person you're the one okay well come I'll talk to you Madam, where are you from? I'm from Akwaibo. You are from Akwaibo? I stayed in Katsina. Are you, are you married? Yes. Where is your husband? He's in Katsina. I have to pray for you. God wants to give you breakthrough. My goodness, lift your hands. I'm telling you, I just saw like a wind and the Lord said they are angels. Watch what happens in the congregation right now. Angels, 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 angels bringing impartation to people. I just saw like a wind in the spirit. Angels cutting away things. That's what I'm seeing. Angels cutting away things from people. They are removing things in people's bodies. That's what I see. Like a, a slimy substance leaving people. This is breakthrough, breakthrough. God is giving people breakthrough. Hallelujah. Ma, let me pray for you. What do you do, ma? Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm looking at this woman. Don't be afraid. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm looking at you. Where is Kasham? I'm looking at you, ma. And I'm seeing her name on your head. And I was wondering, and the Lord, no, 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 no. Hold on. Come. Come. I'm looking at this woman and, and I'm seeing the name of this lady. Kasham on her head and I thought your name is Kasham but the Lord told me it's not Kasham the, what she's practicing is what you are now what what are you doing I'm a nurse what are you doing I'm a nurse you're a nurse that's what I'm seeing in the spirit that's what God is telling me because I'm looking at you and I saw her name written on your head and the Lord said I should call her and make see this is not diabolic. Hosea chapter 12. It says, I have spoken to you by the prophet. I have multiplied visions. He said, I have spoken to you in similitude. This is not jamboree. We have a lot of things to do. God is locating people. And when he's doing it for one, he's doing it for many people. Time will not allow for everybody to be called. But I just want you to believe. Believe in what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's, that's, the, that's the only reason why you are here. Ma, I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord promoting you and lifting you. You believe that? If God grants grace, you will return and testify. Hold my hands, ma. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the God of heaven promote you and lift you right now in the name of Jesus. Ma, I want to pray for you. Where are you from, please? I'm from Anambra, but I'm from Jigawa. I want to pray for you. What do you do? Nurse. I'm a nurse. You are a nurse too. Yes. I want to pray for you. The devil wants to put sickness in your body. 
and this is not a nice this is not something i will even say the devil wants to put it in your body but will take authority over it right now please hold my hands man in the name of jesus lord it will fortify her i command that spirit to leave you right now out the devil wants to put sickness in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ ma look at me the pain is living and you are going free you have cried i have i'm seeing a woman who has cried but god is stepping in hold my hands in the name of jesus lord the grace that makes things happen may that grace bring this woman out of pain in the name of the lord jesus christ i want to pray for you come stand here i want to pray there's bad luck in your family eh? serious bad luck where's your father Quara state Quara state i'm seeing a man in Quara state just going around in circles not even doing anything meaningful we have to pray it's one thing to move physically but it's another thing for your life to move to huh and i'm going to pray for you love jesus please be very serious with the lord hold my hands father in the name of jesus christ emeka emeka i'm hearing the name of someone emeka in the name of the lord jesus christ let there be a miracle for you let there be a miracle for you in the name of jesus emeka the lord is ministering to me i'm hearing the name of someone emeka the lord is giving you a testimony in the name of jesus christ emeka you are outside i'm seeing two emeka coming and tell you i see like a screen one you have beard one you are wearing white Hello, him, you reign, you reign, you reign. Hello, you reign. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. Don't be, I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. The devil wants to destroy your life. We have to pray for you. Sir, look at me. What do you do? You are a student. I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus. And the hand of God is upon your life. Huh? It's not just an ambition for business. But the anointing of God is in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sir, I need to pray for you. I need to pray for you and destroy something that wants to kill you. Huh? so it's just a simple prayer i'll pray for you don't be afraid i'm not I'm, we're not prophesying doom you get what i'm saying in the name of jesus christ i command that thing to leave you in the name of jesus christ that devil of darkness it leaves you right now sir hold my hands i pray that the anointing of the spirit will come upon your life right now step into a new level of grace by the power of the holy ghost it's not by power it's not by might I bring an anointing to your life that takes you to a new dimension. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a lady who is going to shout under the anointing. Just carry her like that and bring her to me. There is a word. No, it's inside here. It's not outside. Right here. Carry her like that and bring her. It's a message. Just carry her like that and bring her. this is what i see in the realm of the spirit as she's lying down like this that's what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and i'm hearing ezekiel 2 verse 2 it says and the spirit entered me and set me upon my feet the lord is bringing not just deliverance to you and your family but the lord is bringing i'm hearing the word restoration and the lord is saying i should prophesy to you receive it in the name of jesus it comes upon you by the power of the holy spirit please bring this lady for me just just carry her carefully if she can please lift your voice and pray and say lord visit me in the name of the lord jesus christ I break every hole you have with her life in the name of Jesus I'm looking at a lady in the realm of the spirit 
and I'm seeing a spirit wearing a crown and the Lord is saying he's removing that crown that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit this is a lady who loves God but I see her connected to things that have to do with marine powers and I'm seeing the lady with a crown and the Lord is taking it in the name of Jesus Christ I command freedom right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I command freedom right now be free go let her go now by the blood of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands I want to pray before we pray for the sick there's something the Lord is showing me please I like you to lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do lift your hands the power of God is going to come on certain people I'm seeing deliverance in families this is not just you you are standing for your loved ones I'm seeing mighty deliverance is happening in families and the Lord is saying one more time we should shout that name Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus as we shout Jesus I like you to shout all your heart at the count of three the moment you do that I see deliverance coming to families and what they could not do in many years will be done within one month what they could not do in many years will be done within one month in the name of Jesus one two three right now deliverance 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 shakataba families I command it inside and outside inside and outside deliverance what could not be done in 10 years in 10 years it will be done in one month what could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month what could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus every door stopping me from entering the next level right now I command that door broken lift your voice and begin to pray pray yourself to the next dimension doors are opening pray inside and outside doors are opening doors are opening doors are opening hallelujah 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 listen many of you may not understand what is happening in the realm of the spirit but you see the presence of God is where change happens in the life of men just like this you will walk out and you will see things happen in your life just like this there are chains that tie men there are chains that hold down destinies there are chains please bring this lady for me yes this lady just this very lady just bring her I give the chains for me Hey, I give the chains, 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 I give the chains. There is power in the name of Jesus. Deliverance is coming for you. There is power in the name of Jesus there is power in, in the name of Jesus hey, to break every chain break every chain break every chain shera barada la barada la barada hallelujah 
that you mean the Lord is giving me a word I saw an eagle flying and the eagle came and entered you and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's restoring to you the spirit of prophecy that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you he's restoring to you I saw an eagle fly and it entered you and the Lord is saying he's restoring the spirit of prophecy 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 hallelujah I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing people carry load and God is saying I should bring down that load lift your hands Lord where are they carrying loads that do not belong to them right now at the count of three let that load come off you right now one two three right now right now right now anyone carrying any load every load every load every load every load every load every load that is not of God every load that is not of God every load that is not of God must leave you must leave you must leave you must leave you hallelujah hallelujah before we are going to be very fast hallelujah I was walking and the Lord said I should go back praise the Lord please don't mind me just allow me to do what the Lord is saying and the Lord is saying I should walk right here outside right and go outside please hear me and the Lord is saying as I walk for every road that I pass if there is a spirit holding your destiny it must leave you please believe me Sheka Karababa I lift my hands right now right now as I'm passing the anointing of the spirit is touching people destroying yokes destroying yokes destroying yokes right now destroying yokes from my left and my right destroying yokes any spirit tying down any man's destiny right now 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 every spirit every spirit every spirit every spirit now listen to me those outside don't be afraid it will not rain but watch this lift your hands i'm going to walk this way and the power of the holy ghost you are enduring this rain as i walk through any spirit tie your life must give way right now are you ready right now right now right now right now right now i release everybody from bondage 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 right now i stretch my hands i stretch my hands i stretch my hands right now i stretch my hands i stand by an anointing as i pass your role any devil tying you will let you go right now as i pass your role as i pass as I pass your role, as I pass your role, as I pass your role, now, right? Free spirit, every spirit responsible for your limitation you are enduring the rain you cannot go back the same I came out to join you hallelujah please make sure you pray I'm moving around we are going to pray for you. Please lift your hands. Make sure you are praying. There's no spirit that will stand. 
Hallelujah. As many who can come in, don't worry. Just push them in. I know it will be a bit stuffy, but push as many people everywhere and let's pray. We have to hurry up. Just push them as many. There are some who may not be able to do much, but then we are praying. We are praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every power holding me. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every power holding my breakthrough. Tonight, your time is up. Go, 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 go. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Every power, every force, Hallelujah. Now, hold on. I know that there are so many people coming in. Just give them room to come in. Just make every adjustment. Not all may be able to come in. But it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. We want to pray for the sick now. Now, please be careful so we don't have people marching on people. Hallelujah. We are going to do two things at the same time. All those who came trusting God for healing, now is your time. Please walk with the protocol, walk with the ushers. I'm going to ask you to come out and stand here. Don't match the people in front. While they are doing that, ushers, begin to pass your prayer request. Begin to pass your prayer request. There are miracles. In the name of Jesus There are breakthroughs In the name of Jesus There is healing In the name of Jesus To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain. Power to break every chain. Break every chain. I sense a strong healing anointing. A strong healing anointing entering this building. Break every chain. 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 hallelujah now we're going to minister to the sick please hear me no matter what the situation is as you stand right here i want you to believe god for healing you've heard the testimonies of people you've seen the things that god is doing in this place don't make the place rowdy just be orderly as we pray for you just a touch and you return back we may not have the time to take testimonies hallelujah please say Jimmy you will join me where's pastor Jakes I'm glad to have them around and they'll make this work easy the anointed people as we pray for you I want you to believe God for healing the moment you are prayed for as you walk back to your seat do what you couldn't do before don't just sit down and hope you are healed the Bible says they came to hear and to be healed they came to hear and to be healed everyone lift your hands in one minute and pray and say every sickness in my body is time for you to go every incurable disease go ahead and pray every incurable disease you are living hallelujah worship team you help us while we minister pastor Jakes me please we are going to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus I want you to believe in the God that heals in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father 
Make sure you are praying in tongues. Don't just be whiling away time. Drop your prayer request and be praying. Pray in the spirit and say, Lord, you are going to visit me. as a God of wonders. Hallelujah. Our time is spent, but I want you to make sure that you participate. We're going to pray on this right now. And then afterwards, um, I'm going to prophesy over our lives. Then we'll take a few announcements and we'll be done. I want you to maximize the night so that you don't go back and return the same. Hallelujah. Before I pray, I, I want, if you can rise, please rise. Those on, under the anointing, that's all right. And then mothers with children, that's all right. But the rest of us, please, let's rise and take this very seriously. We're going to be praying right now. When Pastor Jakes and Ejimi are done, they can come and join us. We'll pray. Pastor Godwin, where are you? Please, can you come and join us? Um, we're going to pray. I'd like you to stretch your hands here and in one minute pray like your life depends on it and say the same way I have dropped this that's how I've dropped every challenge in my life I'd like you to pray please pray Koinonia open your mouth inside outside online please join us we are going to lay our hands prophetically on these requests as we lay our hands on them we are releasing the power of God to every home to every territory in the name of the Lord Jesus, make sure you pray from the depth of your heart. Father, we agree with you. We agree with you. All kinds of miracles, impossible situations. Make sure you are praying. There is a God that answers prayers. Let fire fall on this request to God. Shakata prakata kata kata rekata kata 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 bosh. Mau prakata prosoto bosh. Ele kata prakata pere koto so prata kata bala daba. Mata shata taka taka rada bala daba. Pray, prophesy. We are speaking over this request. Wipe the tears of people, O oh God. Visit individuals. Visit families. Strange miracles. Strange miracles. Ba 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 
they looked unto you and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed shame is taken away totally and completely ah the embargo is lifted ah I hear God saying affliction shall not arise again the second time Allah, it is done it is done says the spirit of God it is done oh glory be to God go ahead and rejoice and give God praise hallelujah 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 please lift your hands and receive the prophecy this is where God is going to be changing lives hallelujah your destiny can change overnight because one word was received prophecy does not only reveal it creates this is where everybody gets to participate in the service take it high guys inside outside this is where I want you to believe you will rise in his name you you will rise in your name You will rise in his name. Hallelujah. Three weeks ago, I had a very serious encounter with God. And the Lord told me something. He said, I have put my word in your mouth. As you speak it, I will make it happen. That's what the Lord told me. Please, I want you to believe it. Oh, blessed is she that believes. Don't sit down and doubt and waste your time. There is a spiritual dimension to life. It's not just, I have taught you principles. Believe me when I tell you there is a spiritual dimension. Gates and doors over the lives and the destinies of men. I pray every gate that must be opened right now I speak to you Efata be open now be open now be open now be open now. Be open now. Be open now. That chain tying any man's destiny, tying the speed of your progress. You are moving, but you're not making impact. Right now. I release upon you an auction for speed an auction take it an auction for speed an auction for speed the Bible says and the hand of the Lord please help them the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah he gathered his loins and ran on barefoot he overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I don't know what you have done from January to now but I prophesy from now till the end of June do what you have not done in five years do what you have not done in five years do what you have not done in five years hallelujah Jacob dug a well and they covered it. They dug another one. 
they covered it they took the third one and they left it and they called it Rehoboth. they said god has given us our space where you have been begging for relevance it's like there is no place for you in life it's like there is no place i stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle take your place in life take your place in destiny take your place in ministry take your place in destiny take your place in ministry ay, 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 ay. whatever has covered your glory whatever has covered your glory i stand tonight i invoke the powers of the heavens and i command let your glory be released now be released now be released now anyone here called jobless between now and the next two months i don't care what is the reason but i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives we give you a job here now we give you a job here now we give you a job here now he says to appoint unto them that morning sign listen there are some of us you are making progress but no help in your life you fight for everything by yourself you pay for everything by yourself when you are in trouble there's nobody to speak for you at the gates where are your helpers who stopped them from entering your life who said it must be this hard i go down on my knees i call your helpers by prophecy in the name of jesus from the north to the south to the east to the west from the north to the south to the east to the west from the north to the south to the east to the west receive of their ministry listen let me tell you there is nothing more tragic as having no helper no man can stand alone you need voices to speak to you at the gates of destiny you need men to endorse you and say help him you can't have to explain yourself to everybody who is speaking for you i pray again whoever must appear in your life from now till june business help us financial help us marital help us career help us I call you for I call you for hallelujah listen lift your hands there are some of you your dreams and visions used to be opportunities for intense revelation where God will show you secrets it made your life easy till something shot you from visions and dreams I pray every dead dream life every dead manifestation of visions like a mantle receive restoration now restoration of dreams prophetic dreams visions prophetic vision hallelujah please stretch your hands towards me please stretch your hands towards me the hands of a man represent your responsibility represents your wisdom represents your agency for bread i pray for you whatever has mocked the creativity of your hands so that your potentials are underutilized isaiah 48 verse 17 i am the lord that teaches thy hands to profit i pray the grace that makes your hand productive take it now take it now take it now take it now the grace that makes your hand multiply take it now
everything called barren in your destiny physical barrenness spiritual barrenness academic barrenness career barrenness right now I cause the spirit of barrenness from his root and I command be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful hallelujah lift your hands in the next one minute I want us to pray because everyone will receive something listen listen what we are all receiving is an upgrade of grace listen he said grace be multiplied grace and peace be multiplied the grace upon a man's life can multiply should multiply must multiply there are three things that happen to you when God lifts you one he multiplies your grace two he adds to your responsibility three he increases your territory of influence both spiritually and physically I pray for you lift your hands some of us you have not backslidden but you've not risen beyond certain levels you have stayed there at a level everything that is alive grows please I want you to receive I told you this meeting will have impartations the impartation is not falling on the ground and rolling impartation is receiving something tangible in your spirit hallelujah Paul said I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift he said to the end that he be established I pray for you lift your hands every grace that is dormant in your life every grace that is useful but it has stayed at a level and is made no matter how you try to rise it stands there in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic office I pray for you may that grace be upgraded now shake it receive it receive it take it an upgrade of favor an upgrade of wisdom an upgrade of power fire power fire fire prayer fire what fire prayer fire what fire an upgrade of supernatural wisdom an upgrade of access access to men of influence I pray for you listen what your current level of grace could not bring you into I empower you to go back and conquer that realm oh let me repeat what I'm saying there are levels in life and there are graces that are like keys you can get to a level and be stuck there no matter what kind of deliverance you can stay there because graces are like flights they can take you beyond certain levels some of us just need a little upgrade to overcome the obstacles you have tried prayer has brought you so far I pray for you whatever dimension must be added so that you can fly like the eagle that you are receive that dimension now receive that dimension now receive that dimension now hallelujah the bible says and you shall be called with a new name which the mouth of the lord shall speak it says you shall be called Hephzibah and Beulah a well desired land I pray for you everything that makes people run away from you they plan to help you but when they come they change their mind they plan to bless you but when they see you they consider what they are about to sow there is a spirit that cut short breakthroughs I pray for you in the name of Jesus I pray the blessing that was prophesied he said to Jacob the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed that aura that attracts favor receive it right now 
receive it right now whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered let me say it again whoever vowed and said it is through his dead body you will rise I said may that prayer be answered listen the Bible says in five things the Lord will deliver you he said yes six he will deliver you from the scourging tongues of men it was a revelation that was given Job that men stay and use their tongues to trap the destinies of men I pray for you whoever has used his tongue like a net to trap your life I release you right now I release you right now I release you right now hallelujah the kind of finances your hands has not touched I pray for you between now and the end of this month may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes may God do something that must bring tears from your eyes anyone here marked for death that death is eyeing you waiting for the day you will get on the road waiting for the day a bike will come close to you to kill you and take your life I pray for you in the name of Jesus we forbid the earth from receiving your body we forbid the earth from receiving your body there are five elements I'm rounding up that are the conduits through which the supernatural finds expression on earth five elements all through scripture the supernatural cannot manifest on earth without the instrumentality of these five elements number one is light God is light the entrance of thy word give it light let there be light number two water the fish and the birds of the air in Genesis came out of water water represents abundance number three fire hallelujah it's a mysterious instrument not threatened by any other element yet refines every other number four wind the mystery of sound the mystery that takes sounds and realities he said I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound that sound came back in Acts chapter 2 Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.